Brazil's stock markets are paying no heed to the claims of the opposition. Much to the relief, at least for those who have invested their money at this point, counter claims of government and political war of words in the aftermath of Lok Sabha 2024 verdict. The Sensex touched an all-time high of 76,795 before settling at a little over 76,600 today. The Nifty 50 reached a record high of 23,320 during today's session. The massive gains comes after the RBI decided to keep the repo rate unchanged and projected the GDP growth at 7.2%. The stock markets have also erased the losses it suffered on June 4th when Lok Sabha results were announced and the NDA could only muster a simple majority. Well, it was the most volatile market for the week in terms of absolute points. We started the week on a positive front on the back of that exit poll, but then market turned negative on Tuesday on the back of actual election results. And since then, since Wednesday, we started rebounding and recovered that election day losses. Now, it was talk about uh, Nifty, then index has registered its biggest single weekly gain in almost six months, touching record high level as well for the week. Whereas if you talk about Nifty Bank, the index has recovered only about 70 to 75 percent of that election day fall, indicating a bit of pressure in the index. Let's talk about sector indices. And here we are seeing that almost all sectoral indices touched record high level for the week, with Nifty IT being the top sector gainer, which also registered its biggest single weekly gain in over three years, which was up by around 8 percent for the week. Nifty FMCG2 registered its biggest single weekly gain in over four years. Let's talk about sectoral losers. So Nifty PSU Bank was the top sectoral loser, which also snapped three-week gaining streak. So overall, it was a volatile market, but we ended on a positive note.